Hello and thanks for joining the Thursday edition of Journalist Hangout. I'm Ayodili Uzubakum. Today on the program, ministerial nominees unveil plans at Senate screen as Emeka Wajuba defect from APC 24 hours after ministerial nomination. And later on the show, aid workers held by Boko Haram appeal to Khan federal government to secure their freedom as GOC talks tough. I'll be hanging out with Babajide Koladi Otitoju and Tony Waji. So if you're ready, let the hangout start now. It's a battle for portfolios at the Senate as one after the other ministerial nominees walked into the upper legislative chamber to justify their selection by President Momodou Buhari. On Wednesday, 10 nominees were screened and for former lawmakers it was a walk in, in the park. They were accorded the legislative privileges which Sharon Ikeazo and Ruti Miyamichi also enjoyed. But for others it was the drill. Uche Chuku Oga, who was the first to be screened, answered 20 questions from the senators. Meanwhile, ministerial nominee and House of Representatives member Emeka Wajuba has switched partisan allegiance from the Accord Party to the All Progressive Congress after his nomination was announced. Nigerians watch and wait to know those who will become ministers to steer the ship of governance for another four years, although it is unlikely that any of them won't make the list. Let's take you to Abuja now and see what happened earlier. President Mohamed Buhari's ministerial list has continued to spark reactions among Nigerians, and quite a number of people have found reasons to criticize his choice of nominees. Back at the National Assembly, the case is no different and some federal lawmakers have raised concerns that among the 43 nominees, no single indigen of the FCT was nominated. The list for ministers were submitted yesterday and uh, out of uh, the list of the nominees, there were 43 of them. And uh, to the surprise of my constituents and myself, we did not find uh, any nominee from the FCT. And my constituents have asked me to come with a loud voice. If the constitution has said that it shall be treated as if it were one of the states, and the same constitution have said each state of the federation shall have one, uh, shall have a minister, then automatically I think this is very, very clear. So that in your proposition to the uh, executive, we can come from this point of strength to strengthen the position of um, Senator Philip Aduda. <laughs> Despite the Senate's assurances that the process will be thorough and without professional treatment, some nominees were still let off the hook. The tradition of the Senate is that any nominee who once served as a lawmaker should not be subjected to questioning. When it was time for returning nominee Rotimi Amechi to speak, President of the Senate, Ahmed Lawan, proposed that the tradition be applied. If the Senate, in its wisdom, do confirm you, you will revisit, and we want to expect to see in the 2020 budget a well-articulated funding of the program that you are going to say to connect Zamfara, Sokoto, KB access to national railway infrastructure. As you are doing well for the Western Corridor, as you are doing well for Ibado to Lagos Railway, that we want that same thing on this side, including Abo to Onicha. Take a bow. <laughs> Despite the low points of today's screening, senators found a way to make it worthwhile. Well, Wajida, I said it earlier, before we go into, uh, to the man that actually defected, I said this earlier, compared, to, to, uh, compared this to the screening we've seen in the 7th, 8th Assembly, this night Assembly is not looking as um, uh, the 
they are not looking as if they are doing a very, very thorough job. The lawmakers all I think all they are interested is to go on that vacation. Yes. And when you when you look at the level of screening and so far, there is no screening. You, you, uh -huh, you mm -hmm. can't you can't say that some ministers will not make it. Do you understand? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But we've seen during the eight and seven senates, the likes of Bode Augusto actually stood in the front of this house and they did not make it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> they were screened out. Yes. So from what we've seen, take a bow and go. <laughs> what do you make of <laughs> this process? <laughs> I don't know, maybe the, the, the RSS um, is playing a part in this. They probably want to just get this mm -hmm. process done with mm. so that they can go and enjoy their holidays. Mm, Salah uh, is some, uh, some, uh, in the mm -hmm. corner. So, Salah so, is next week or so. Uh, sometimes but mm. I don't think it all goes well for us to continue to do things in this manner. I oppose thoroughly the idea of not even attaching portfolios mm -hmm. to the names of those mm -hmm. uh, ministerial nominees so that you can be screened Based oh, on well, your experience, the yeah. portfolio yeah. that mm -hmm. the, pre the president intends to give mm -hmm. to you, you. the ministry over that over you, will, you will run, yes. we can screen you. For example, Sunday Dari was, um, uh, was um, fielding questions from the lawmakers a while ago. They were asking him about how technology can be used to um, defeat terrorism, defeat insecurity, and all that. Sunday Dari is a journalist. A journalist. Yeah, yeah, true and true. Mm -hmm. He has a bit of experience also in communication, communication. matters mm -hmm. because he's he, serving, he's he a served as a, a, as, a, a, NCC. as a zona commissioner of a, a NCC representing the Southwest. But they should, they should ideally you should be asking them questions about Area their areas of strength. Of strength. So that we can know whether they are good enough. He spent all to his serve. life in journalism, and when you look at the CV's so, profile, well, you see, because no one is sure whether the president will give him the, the, the information. Minister of information, or he or, will keep Alaji Live Mohammed there, or, or, or he will NCC make, uh, or he will make uh, Festus Koyamo, the Minister, uh, the Minister of, of information. information, because some people are also are already saying that, that he, he did will a good job, job as the uh, spokesman of, the, uh, of the campaign. The campaign, that, campaign yeah. could, that could be an area where uh, mm. it could be useful because I don't think Kayamo at this stage is even experienced enough mm. and competent Justice, enough yeah. to be Attorney General of the country. Mm. I don't think that is good enough for that position. So no one knows where the president intends to, to um, the ministry that the president intends to give Kayamo. Well, people, this, this is what people are saying, that it could well be a good information uh, minister. minister is um, is very active on social media. He's a good communicator. Those are qualities that he has. The decision is for the president. But I think that going forward... To make the work easy. The National Assembly should insist or come up with a law, a law. that mandates the president to put the ministry where the, uh, the nominee will serve function in front of, of yeah. his name. We can then look at the last dispensation. There were up to 12 lawyers. Mm. There were up to 12 lawyers on the ministerial and, uh, list. Mal Malami wasn't the best. There were up to 12 lawyers on the ministerial list. But you see, for every lawyer that was screened, they kept asking them questions about law mm -hmm. and, and, and all that. Instructions. You know? So we, 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 that's, that shouldn't be the case. If you want to be minister of sports, you, we should be able to ask you questions. Mm. Relating to mm. that Yes, relating to, to sports. How do you intend to develop sports? Mm. How do you intend to move the Super Eagles from their present uh, number mm -hmm. three position mm -hmm. to maybe top ten? Because we used to be in the top ten mm. during the Vesta of era. Mm. Okay. We were number five before yeah, going to uh, five. US 94. Yes. yes. So these are the things. We can't ask these simple critical questions because even those questions that you ask, may just pale into insignificance at the end, at the end of, of the day. day yeah. Because that is not uh, mm. likely to be where the person uh, is the, the president yeah. will use them. So look at an adequate. A, a random thing. Look at an adequate, for example, uh, Amosun's best friend. Who, who was commissioner for works. Who, who in was commissioner for works. 
you know, it will have been interesting for, the, for them to ask him that, look, as commissioner for works, you left a lot of, a, a barrage of completed projects. projects. So From why? Akute to Songo to Agbado, all of these places. Littered with uncompleted projects. So they could have asked him what happened. But those are not the questions that uh, the, the, these lawmakers are asking. These are not, this is not a screening. Mm -hmm. It's not a screening. Not at all. It's not a screening. It's just an opportunity for us to hear people speak. That's all. It's not a screening. It's a bloody waste of time. Hmm. It's not hmm. a screening. And I do not see any upsets happening. Yeah, upset in the water. Nah. Nah, at the end of the day, uh, all of them will, everyone's we'll taking a Look at Amechi that they should have asked him significant questions. They are telling Amechi to simply take a bow because he was speaker of a house of assembly. Of assembly. They, are, they, have, they have even uh, worsened the, the, this drama for us by saying that someone, because someone was speaker, in River State, then he does not need to, 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 to take questions. He should just take a bow. But during the last dispensation, this same Amechi asked questions. Yeah. And we remember him was, saying was, that he has never drilled. stolen money. Yes, it was, was drilled. So I don't know what uh, yeah, no. the Senate President... Tony, uh, what, do, what do you make of this um, process? <laughs> Did I say it all, though? What am I going to add again? The issue is, I don't see it as screening. You know, it's just a mere formality appeared. Maybe and what they did was just to see the faces of these new ministers. Mm -hmm. Nothing was done. No, no, they, they were not drilled. They were not drilled. I think it was just uh, Obon Ayono that was drilled for over, you know, that, you know, I, 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 you know that, for me, properly drilled. 2022, we are going to have our pencils. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so that's another issue for another day. <laughs> You know, so really, I, I see nothing, you know, um, based on yesterday's uh, screening, I would have expected that today, we just say, there's no need. Can we just move forward? Maybe just forward the names to the president and let them, you know, be portfolios and, you know, assigned to, their, um, to, to them and we can make progress. But right now, for me, this is a big time delay. Nothing is happening at the Senate. No, no, nothing. Because when you tell somebody to tell somebody, because it was a speaker, how many years ago was he a speaker? Yeah. Because he was a speaker, but he, he's been a minister. It was two years ago. Yeah, he's been a minister. So why can't you just say, okay, what, for, for, for a period of four years you've been um, minister of so 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 the ministry? Yes. Okay, can you tell us your achievement? What you, you yes. know in this area, in this area, what you've done and all that? Those and who have been ministers, uh, yeah, that's, what, are that's what I'm expecting. They should be asking yes. them How, what they have achieved. Why should Nigerians invest their trust you again in to them for a second time? It's These simple. Are the they should it's be simple. Asking. And I don't think it's hard. This is what I was expecting them to do yesterday. But as usual, and every, all of them at the Senate were sitting down and watching. Nobody could raise, you know, you know objection to this. For me, it's an anomaly. I, nothing happened yesterday. I, I don't see it. It's not, it's not screening for me. Jude, let me take you a look uh, um, back a little bit. It might be very, it will be very difficult <coughs> for the president to arrive at this final list, you know. Um, for him to choose um, 43 and um, return 12 out of the people he had before. Mm. But a lot of Nigerians, you know, are raising questions about some people that he decided to drop. So, you know, I called a friend yesterday and he told me that, okay, let's talk about the nominee from Oshon. What's the name of the, um, this man? Um, the Minister of Health. Mm. Some people will argue that <laughs> he, he, he did well. Yes, you know? Shalem, uh, cancer fighting. Yes, some people will say he, he, he did well. Some people will refer to Udo Duma. Yeah, I want to recall. Udo Duma, that look, we, we, we don't have a strong hand in terms of um, um, yeah, finance. I don't think he will come like, back uh, and assign to us to finance. Yeah. Do, you, do you understand? But, you know, people weren't shocked the about... He's a trained lawyer, but he has experience yes, yes, uh, within the yeah. business. Yes, cycle. yeah. He yeah. was a chairman of USC mm -hmm. at the point in time. He was a chairman of Union Bank. And um, talking about people like NK Loko Birin, but nobody was... No, he's uh, going for... He's going to contest... Governorship. Or, or, governorship. Or, yeah, he had even told the president. Yeah, told the president. Yeah. Okay. But uh, Lalong, Minister of Sports. Hmm? Oh, well, Lalong <laughs> uh, is, is the president's uh, loyalist, been the president's loyalist for many That's years. Mm. Um, Lalong um, uh, is not someone that a lot of people want to see return as a sports mm. minister. Not many people because At all. one, uh, we Nigerians always prefer someone who had 
being a sportsman, a mm -hmm. sportswoman, who had been a yeah. sports administrator, yeah, a you know, but if we just brought a lawyer without a sports background, people will not be happy. And I don't think that even looking at, and we have people that we could use. People like Shekwon Degbami and mm -hmm. the, so they may be a stubborn man, so many people will not, uh, they don't like stubborn people. They like people who not ask questions, mm -hmm. no matter how bad things yes, are man. getting. Uh, yes, men. Those are the people that we want, you know. <laughs> no matter how bright the ideas are, it's we don't want such people. Exactly. You know? So we have people that are just wasting, wasting away that we could actually bring into a cabinet like this because this cabinet is so short on technocrats. Yeah. There are certain ministerial positions that ought to be left to technocrats. Finance. Let technocrats run those, uh, those ministries and let us see the, the, sure. the, 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 the fruits of their involvement. Okay. You know? But on what we see, the politicians have taken over. And it's been politician. It's been politicking, politicking, politicking. And you see some people who, who really do not even have the capacity, and we are mm. going to make them ministers mm. just to please certain political interests. Our country must depart from that that path. Mm. We must, in future, make people ministers not simply for political expediency, mm. but simply because they are good enough. Mm -hmm. To serve, mm -hmm. and they will be capable of delivering the dividends. Out of you know, if if I were the president, if I wanted to shock the uh, the people, for example, surprise the people, and show the young people that they've not been left behind, I could have chosen maybe um, one out of uh, these young people who contested against the president. Honestly. There, um, were, there were a few of them who got Mogalu. Yes, Mogalu. Shore. Uh, yeah, um, uh, what's his name? Feladro Toye. Feladro Toye. You cannot tell me that Feladro Toye is not good enough to be minister. Cannot hold his own. He's charismatic, he speaks well, mm, so he's brilliant. Of youth. Inclusive. Yeah, so youth. you have, mm, he will youth. be able to galvanize the young people, mm. you know, and get, get them to, to, to begin to see reason to serve their country. So, but. Is the, the politicians that have taken over. It's the game. I, I have Richard from Lagos calling us. Thank you for joining us, Richard. Mm -hmm. All right, go ahead with your contribution, Richard. Yeah, my, yeah, Richard calling from Lagos. So I really want to contribute to this issue of our uh, <coughs> the screen of the ministerial uh, this. Actually, I think the way I'm looking at those, uh, the way the Senate is even conducting it for now, in fact, I'm not, I'm not pleased at all. I'm not pleased. Because these people are supposed to be asked questions mm -hmm. in areas that they are going to help out in this mess that this country is. Not by even screening them and saying go. Because politicians are taking over Nigeria. And the president needs to know that because he promised us that this next level, that he's going to do more. But I don't see that by. That is just my take. Thank, Thank you. you very much. Thank you, Richard. Uh, Tony, before I come to you, just a minute. So many people asked me yesterday, and I told them, I promised them I was going to ask Gidi on the show, okay. that we're known that we don't hold anything back on the program and we don't care whose ox is God. What happened to Akin Umiambodi? A lot of people speculated that Akin Umiambodi might be considered as a minister, yeah. and we end up being a minister. And some people were already jubilating that, okay, that this man after he lost his bid to become the second time governor of Lagos State, yeah. that will come, you know, in the federal cabinet. Well, um, top politics. Up till two weeks ago, Akin Yambode was on the list. Jubrila Mohamed Bindo from Adama, Adama was on the list. Thank you. Emi Abubakar, the gov former governor of Bauchi, was on the list. Yusuf Suleiman, former minister of, sport, uh, of uh, yes, sports and one time minister of transport, the Sokoto Prince, who ran Buhari's campaign in Sokoto, was on the list. Hmm. But this is a game that politicians play. Hmm. The president kept this list to himself. In fact, I was told <laughs> a story of one very big politician in Nigeria who went to visit the president. And that list, the, list, the ministerial list was in front of the president. The president was sitting beside him. The president refused to open the list. 
you know. He was thinking that at least in the course of their discussion. So, so the president will confirm. Yes, him. but here was the list in front of the president. <laughs> and the president refused to open it. He refused to talk about it. Hmm. And when it was, uh, when their meeting ended, he took his thing and put it uh, uh, here and walked away. <laughs> so, he, the truth is, for many people, Abba Kiari is a very effective member of the president's kitchen cabinet, a member of the Kaba. They, they like telling us that the Kaba does not exist, but they know and God knows that it exists. Mm -hmm. The moment the president reappointed him, it was bad news for many people. Mm -hmm. It changed the equation. Uh, it changed the equation, and some of the people who ordinarily could have made that list. It became difficult, or if not impossible, for them to make the list. Akio Miambode was on that list. I'm, I'm saying that on my honor, was on that list. Jubrila Mohamed Bindo. In fact, Bindo was going to be made Minister of Health City. And the current Minister of Health City, the plan was to make him Nigerian ambassador to Saudi Arabia. Hmm. So the plan was to either give Bindo the Minister of Health City or make him Minister of Defense. All these things changed. Overnight. Yes, it changed. You know? So, and for each of them, is, you put them through nights of terrific strain. Amode might not be in the good books of the strongman of Lagos politics. Not just the strongman of Lagos politics. There are, even if the, the strongman of Lagos politics, because he, he has this legendary heart for forgiveness which many of the people who are loyal to him find it difficult to understand. Tinobu can offend even someone who slaps him and kicks him in the groin. He can forgive him in an instant. You know that his history is replete with people who had offended him and that he had brought back to his camp. There are so many such people. So it's not, it's not difficult uh, for him to say, okay, everybody, yes, you made some mistakes, but you are, you are still part of the family. We've seen such people. He brought back, he brought back Pedro now, Honestly. you know? Yes. If Shaya Ogulewe can be back to APC. He can, he can <laughs> forgive anybody, but you saw some of the noise that people made the moment it looked likely that everybody could get on that list. And some of them were saying, no, 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 you cannot use Lagos, uh, uh, this thing. So his enemies are beyond Ashiwa Jubola Ahmed Tinubu. If it was simply down to Abola Ahmed Tinubu, maybe somebody would even have secured the second time. But there are other people. You saw the way Babaito was speaking the other day. <laughs> even some of his comments had to be edited. <laughs> and that was the man who ran his campaign in Lagos. Who ran, who ran, who ran campaign. Ambo's campaign in Lagos. But he described Ambode as a sad man. He did not even want to hear about him. You know? So this is the thing. It's not simply, uh, oh, uh, that uh, this is uh, that Ashiwaju uh, does not like him. Uh, no, that's, that's neither here nor there. And Ashiwaju made that point some time ago that I'm just one person, I'm just the leader. The moment the leader deviates from the demands and the needs, of the followers. Mm -hmm. You became an you become an unpopular leader suddenly. Mm -hmm. So the leader will become will retain his popularity when he continues to do what the people, people. want him to do. Because he derives his authority from them. And the respect that he has mm -hmm. from them. So that is the way Adibayo it is. is calling us. Thank you, Adibayo from Lagos. Yeah. Hello? Yes, go ahead to your contribution, Bio. Yeah. I I thank Donald Angar very much. I'm a very good fan for journalist anger, especially Babaji Bekolade and others. I appreciate your effort. Thank you. So, I, I watched the advert you made last time about the, the uh, electric situation. Of but let, let, let me just go straight to my point. This um, ministerial list that the president just gives to the Senate and the African people. I, I don't think that uh, as the, the, just a political list. Because the way the, the state has been 
steal from people just to buy and go. We want to know what you have done for the past four years, especially those that have been minister for the um, be, be, be minister for the past four years. We want to know what, what you have done, what will I, 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 I do. So I so, Nigeria, Nigeria can know. Maybe they will still give you the opportunity or not. But the way the president just they just come to the feeling, someone will just laugh. They will be mm -hmm. mm -hmm. you know, be you can't enemy enjoy to, to the feeling. Just be fast. taking out with another senator. If I think mm -hmm. that that's one to three, we check now. Uh, I check it in you and just laugh, 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 laugh with you. How can you talk to him? Thank you, Byron. Thank you, Byron. Noted. Uh, Tony, who did you expect in and who did you expect out? And uh, from our reality, there's nothing we can do about it. We have, uh, um, you know, before now, if uh, a nominee is just a, a, a nominee is just there, okay, I, I'm told that so I have to go on this commercial break. Tony, we'll be right back after this time. And please don't go away. Stay with us. Thank you for staying with us. This is Journalist Tangat, and we're reaching you live from our studios here in Lagos, Nigeria, and we're dissecting the ministerial list that the nominees right now. And um, Tony, mm -hmm. you had some people in your mind, and you had some people that you, yeah. you didn't want to see on this yeah. list. <laughs> and ultimately, <laughs> see, we have them now. The problem I have is this. I was expecting a brand new list, hmm. seriously speaking. Serious, this is a country. If I read of mindset, no more than three should have come maybe, back. Maybe, maybe, yeah, because they've done four years. <laughs> this is a country of over, over 20, 200 million people. Hmm. And we have hot heads. We have people who can. I mean, that, that's, that's my shock. I was expecting, and the president said he needs time. And he to had appoint the, people who, he had who that knows. Time. And I'm wondering if he knows that, Fabio. <laughs> you know, he said, I was expecting a brand new list. A brand new, as in that's what you know. Bring, Break give, away from what yes, we had in the, the past. old order. Yeah, wanna, Bring, uh, give people. Fresh, we have we have them in Nigeria. Go around the country. And sh go around. You know. Go to the go into the diaspora and shop for these people. Mm. We have them everywhere, and they are ready to come back to this country and contribute. Mm. We have them. So I was expecting a totally different list. Like what I saw, I saw. I'm seeing a list comprising of old politici politicians. <laughs> Uh, not that you won't compensate. Someone described you it as a campaign it, list yesterday. Yeah, <laughs> you, can, you can still compensate. There are other appointments. But this, for me, is the major driver of the economy. I mean, the major driver of this government. Ministers need to be appointed, and we need to know their competence. But we are fresh mm. blood like Sondidari. Oh, no. Mm. Yes, yeah, I said, no, we, we, still, no we still have them. We still mm -hmm. have them. But we, I mean, returning some ministers for me is everybody's no -no. above fifty. He said, he said, he said, no, no, Sonny, of course, I know he's going. To, and my problem, Maybe. I hope uh, it I think, looks like everybody's above fifty. They <laughs> yes, they are. They are old real. How old is Kiamo? First of Kiamo is forty nine. Forty nine. They had another. Who is? How old is? Forty three. Which one? 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 So that's, wow. that's, that's a problem. Not to wait for the not too young to rule. No, people. no, they no, are no. not. They the are president not, told them not, categorically they when they were signing, signing that bill that they might need no, to they are, wait. No, they are not represented. No, they are not represented. <laughs> so that's, they that's, might need. It's not their time yet. <laughs> that, even <laughs> the Ministry of Youth. The Ministry of Youth. <laughs> Maybe, <laughs> I don't know. So no, we'll get a 60 year old for the Ministry of Youth and Sports. <laughs> that, that's, that's that's For me, that's the problem we have with that list. We were expecting something totally, for me, I was expecting something totally different. And I hope, okay, now we've, we've yeah, scaled this. For my governors yeah. there. No, we've scaled this. We've scaled this. Now, mm -hmm. the next thing is making sure that square, you know, square pegs are fixed in, in square holes. Yeah, the, 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 the bigger um, problem is ensuring that they give each person the portfolio that will bring out the best in him. If you have, maybe now, uh, Hani read the, the um, um, nominee from Edo mm. will become Minister of Health, you know? Don't forget no, that, that Mamora is also a doctor. Don't yeah. forget that Chris Ngigi is also yeah, a, 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 a medical doctor. I, I, I when when was the last again, time I'm that uh, Chris Ngigi practiced medicine? Ah, That's a good question. It's a long time ago. So I will prefer yeah. Mamora on that yeah. seat, yes. I would prefer someone who had practice medicine 
up to maybe like one year ago or okay. a few okay. months. Okay. Not okay. people well, who, are, who are, for more time, than 20 years, years they've been doing politics. Even Mamora had not uh, been practicing. Been practicing for so many years. Mm. Just, just like Beko, mm -hmm. you know, before he died. So, okay. oh, Bukola Saraki. Uh, <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, uh, yeah I, do, I remember that he's a medical doctor. Yeah. I, uh, what's this thing about Emeka Wajuba? No, this Emeka Wajuba is one of the most closest southeasterners to Buhari. Forget him going to accord. That was just a way of uh, realizing uh, his ambition. His ambition. ambition yeah. You know, the moment. Um, um, the governor of Imo State mm. then um, took that turn that he took. From within his party, many people left, left in different directions and all that. So he has always been a Buhari man, always been a Buhari man, very, very close to the president. Mm. I can say this clearly. So I knew what happened, I was expecting what happened. He merely used the accord party as a vehicle. Mm -hmm. Yes, and he succeeded because if he didn't use the accord party, he would, he would not have succeeded. So this is the thing. Or he probably would not have succeeded. Where is he so from? He's from Imo. Okay, he's from Imo. Imo. State, he's yeah. from Imo. Yeah. You know. So it's now the president is is going to position him as a new face of their party in that state. You understand? Mm -hmm. Because the experiment with Hope Uzodima has clearly failed. Mm. The mistake the APC made was to go and get someone from the same Olu zone with uh, the governor and uh, even the governor's uh, protege, mm. Uche Nwosu. Mm. It's not going to fly. If the APC had picked someone from Oweri zone, because Oweri zone had, had been hungry. Oh, I know him. You know? I know him. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I know him. Yeah, I saw him doing the inauguration. Yeah, 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 he's, I he's, met a him. <laughs> he's a Buhari loyalist yeah, yeah, to, the core, the to the core. So yeah. it's just like your loyalist okay. going to a different party. <laughs> okay. And when uh, an opportune moment comes, he will just, go. And, okay. <laughs> so now, and he has defected back to where he truly belongs. And he's a minister. So it's not a shock. The minister designated. Uh, it's, not, it's not a shock at all. It will be the face of the APC in Imo State, in Imo Imo State, State. now. Uh, and talks very well. He's an orator. Yeah, he looks like yes. yes, yes, a He talks very well. About to Interesting. It reminds me of uh, Frank Weke Jr. Mm. He looks younger. Mm. He looks, he looks <laughs> younger. <laughs> he looks younger. So he, this is the thing. You know, uh, the president is going to have, you know, a, a very, um, I don't know, maybe he has decided on who gets what. But it should have by now from the list of 43. It should by now. I hope, I hope that won't now. take another. <laughs> I, 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 I just pray. Now. I just pray. <laughs> by it now, should it should have been. So that we can have their story yes. in yes. the next week. We week's. just want to oh, see we, no. that they give them. Because if you, for example, someone with so much energy to spare, like um, a like, uh, symbol, Raouf uh, Arekbe Shola, ah. you have to give him a ministry that will bring out the best thing. Otherwise, it's a waste. Hmm. You know, otherwise it's a waste, hmm. uh, and that is not what we want to see. That's not what we want to so, see. Too much energy. <laughs> so much energy. I don't think he has added a pound of weight <laughs> since <laughs> since 1999. We told me one time he doesn't eat after anything after five years. <laughs> <laughs> and when you see him, yes, you know, yeah. nature. <laughs> yes, and uh, very light, uh, light as in uh, light T H E. Um, frame. So, uh, and they are the people, they, they, they are the healthiest people. You know, it, it reminds me of Ryan Giggs. Ryan Giggs, like, uh, like, um, uh, like Ferguson said, Ryan Giggs never added one pound to his body from the day that he met him. Whereas, once Rooney went on vacation, Rooney will had so much weight. And in the first few weeks of the season, it will be literally useless to Manchester United. You know, until they are, they are, they are succeeding in getting him to shed uh, several pounds. Remember the, so, the famous crosses of um, uh, Ryan Giggs? <laughs> <laughs> so this is the thing. They just have to give them the right portfolio. Otherwise, yeah. some of them will be there and we they won't that. feel fulfilled. Yeah. We've yeah. seen people who are ministers and who felt like being allowed to go. The moment there was an uh, opportunity for 
electoral uh, position, electoral contest. Mm. They said, no, we are leaving the Fabulous. cabinet. We want to go we'll out. Contest. Contest. So, so because they didn't feel fulfilled. Mm. So uh, the president will put people where they truly belong. And they can function they well. Can. I think that Anungige, for example, should be allowed to remain Yes, labor, labor minister because mm -hmm. that's a familiar well. face. Yeah. Even the labor unions will know what to expect when they are dealing with him, you know, and they will have made uh, some friends <laughs> among them. Because mm -hmm. the battle ahead for even this minimum wage, the battle is not over yet. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So you and need. Uh, back there. Mm, uh, uh, well, it's, it's up to the president to do, uh, to do what is right. That All right. Be the reason. Okay, moving on now. It is said, oh, the lion that once it tests human flesh, the urge for human blood becomes insatiable until it is tamed. So it is for being for Boko Haram terrorists in Nigeria. Once they killed a humanitarian worker at um, Safira Asani in September 20, um, 2018, rather than um, being remorseful for the evil, they added another victim to their lists. In October of the same year, a faction of Boko Haram, the Islamic states of West Africa, Province Iswap killed Awa Lehman, an aid worker with the Red Cross. Nine months after, this hungry lions may be on the verge of claiming another victim. In a video that has gone viral, a kidnapped female aid worker is seen alongside five male colleagues with which, who are staff of Action Against Hunger. She identifies herself as Grace Taku and appeals to the Christian Association of Nigeria, CAN, and the federal government to come to their rescue. Let's watch this. So pathetic. We went to work on Thursday, 18th of July, 2019, out of Damasak. On our way going back to Damasak, by Kinari Chamba Ward in Damasak. We, we were caught by this uh, army called the Khalifas. They brought us here, and actually we don't know where we are, but this, this minute, this moment, I want to beg on mine. Can Christian Association of Nigeria, because I'm the only Christian among the six of us here, I want to beg that Can Association should please do something about me to see how I can be released. I also want to beg on uh, action against hunger, Borno State. We are six here, all of us are staffs. I also want to count on Nigerian, our nation, we are Nigerians, and we are also working for Nigerians. For Nigerians, I beg that Nigerian government should please, I'm begging again, please do something to see that we are released. Because this has occurred before in this organization, Red Cross, where uh, some ladies were caught, Hawa and Zipora. They also asked to be released, but because Nigeria did not do anything about it, they were killed. Workers um, of action against hunger, Tony, it's very, very sad. And um, unfortunately, Grace Taku making appeal to the government of Nigeria. We are back at that um, same square where it's difficult for you know, the government to provide adequate security for its citizen. And these are aid workers. And they were coming from areas that they went to go and give relief to people. Ordinarily, I thought this, these people should be well, protected. well protected, protected because of the kind of humanitarian yeah, yeah, job yeah, okay. they're doing. It's bad enough. No matter what you pay me, I can't do that job. Mm. It's a tough one. I'm, I'm so pained, you know, I'm watching her. Um, because um, it has happened last year. It happened last year. And just as she mentioned, 
nothing eventually happened. They got killed. That was, I think, uh, um, Red Cross um, aid workers, in, I think, March 2018. <clears throat> and they cried out to government, just the same procedure. And uh, I don't want to believe that government will not tackle this one this time around, because last year um, it, it got killed after six months or thereabout. And then this, aid workers, most times it's even voluntary, you know, they don't, they don't, they are not paid. So I was, I would expect, I would expect serious security nets around them. And if it happened, you know, continue to happen like this, all those IDP camps in the Northeast, I don't know who is going, yeah, who is going to volunteer to protect them and to oh. offer assistance. Mm -hmm. So these are issues, these are areas I think government should look at. If we cannot provide security for these people, who volunteer, I, it's not, for me, it's not about the money they pay them. We're offering to provide such a risky service mm. at this point in time in the history mm. of this country is something worthy of tight, I mean, serious security net around them. Mm. But it happened last year and it, happened, it happens again. Mm. Then tell me who's going to offer such services tomorrow. So I hope they are watching this video, these visuals as we're seeing, it's at, as we're seeing it now. It's important for us to look at this issue all over, all over again. When we're getting it wrong, because it's happening over, how can you, I, I mean, how can they succeed? And till now, they, nobody, so, you know, you can't even tell. But they're in this, they're in, in, I, I, I want to believe they're in Nigeria. That's yes, why, that is yes, why no. I think there are, there are problems. They are in this country, and they're going to, last year, it was about six months. Six months, they were crying out to government to help. And at the end of the day, they were killed. If it repeats itself again, which I want to believe will never happen, I want to believe that government will step into this issue and let get these people rescued. Because it will, go, it will happen again. If you want people to go offer their services at these IDP camps, and these are kind of things they report they hear all the time, tell me the essence of those IDP camps. We offer assistance. Well, actually, um, Grace Taku is appealing to the Christian Association of Nigeria, and I'm saying that beyond that, the bottom line is that they are Nigerians, mm -hmm. and it's the responsibility of government to take care of them, both Christians and Muslim, and they must come to their aid, they must come to their rescue. This must not be swept under the carpet and these people must not die. That is, that is our wish. <coughs> but uh, it all depends on what Boko Haram wants, or I swap as they like to be called now, the particular um, faction of Boko Haram that is active in Northern Bruno because that area is Northern Bruno and that area is not safe. That wide area of Bono State is not safe. Anybody who thinks that that area is safe is endangering his life. I have mentioned the fact that big politicians from Bono State, many of them can't go home. If they go home, if they manage to go home, they dare not sleep there. This is a fact. I've, I've mentioned someone like the Speaker of the Borno State Assembly, who comes from Guzamala local government, he dares not go home. He's watching me. It's a fact. Gajiram, the hometown of Babagana uh, um, Kingibe, the army base there, Boko Haram overrun. Because we continue to make light of the problem that we have. And that will tell you that we are not <laughs> ready to solve the problem. When you continue to lie that this is the extent of the problem, oh, Boko Haram does not occupy any part of Nigeria. Boko Haram is not, uh, uh, they can only uh, attack um, soft targets. But when they attack so, uh, army bases and slaughter soldiers, you do not want to describe those places as soft targets, you just keep quiet. This is what we are seeing. That whole area is not safe. We are not safe from these uh, uh, killers. It, and oh, we said it, I oh, want, said it two years ago, oh, we said it a year ago. Yes. People libeled us. They abused us. They some abused some us. of them will they sit on Facebook are, and write absolute rubbish. Some will even but say this that is the thing, look at. <laughs> we are agents of, <laughs> of PDP, <laughs> but that's their problem. The, the way I've said it before, They're one, way, life, one yeah. way to be unpopular right. is to speak the truth mm -hmm. because a lot of us don't like the truth. 
We've lost a lot of our friends. Yes, they can, they can go. The we we'll make new friends. Mm. Yeah, we'll make new friends who will appreciate mm. us mm. for being mm. honest mm. people, mm. For, for speaking the truth. Mm. Those friends that have gone, they can go. We don't need them. Those who have blocked us on Facebook for saying the truth, we don't need them. Mm. But this is the thing. We're people are dying. People are dying. And because of politicians, you think that, OK, it's convenient to merely try to mask the truth. No. I was reading the army. The army sometimes, they embarrass me. I was reading the army saying that we know the location of the aid workers. Are you? I'm telling you. So what did you do? In, in this age. Just sweep into action. Army, and... talking like this, Nigerian you know, what army. What did you do? Now, if you are announcing that you know the location of these aid workers, because Google it, you will see the story. Mm -hmm. Except if they are saying they were misquoted. If you are saying that you know the location of the aid workers, won't they uh, re relocate them? Yeah. Are yeah, they exactly. Yeah. exactly. They will relocate them. So this is the thing. If you know the location, why not quietly, if it's, it's a military operation that you want to use to rescue them, why not quietly do that mm. instead of going to the press? What do we even gain by going to the press to say every, every in, inconsequential things? How does saying those things to the press help, uh, the uh, uh, help us to win the war? And if it is the press that reported this now, you will say that, oh, Daily Trust, they, 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 they <laughs> announced your plan Take it personally. against the enemy. You now go and lock up Daily Trust. We need to stop this. We need to stop the, the killing. If aid workers are not safe, then who is safe? And people must protect those guys in the IDP camps and other places. The whole of that Damascus area is not safe. It's a fact. Mm -hmm. You can't move freely within those communities. We lost a colonel the other day mm -hmm. and a captain. Mm -hmm. And we have lost so many soldiers. Dozens of soldiers we have lost in the last one year. So we have to get serious about this war. A, a, a soldier was telling me that, ah, what, what, what is going on? Uh, Major General uh, uh, Dumalik Bu was promoted and is celebrating it. In a season when People a colonel, mild, yeah, a, a, colonel a full colonel, not a lieutenant colonel, a full colonel, and others were killed. Why should you celebrate your promotion? You are rolling out uh, IVs. And is this same general who was boasting that, look, I am back. You better surrender. You don't need to, 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 to intimidate Boko Haram. Just go ahead and kill them. That's what we're after. Finish the job. Don't announce to them. Don't even tell them to Finish surrender. If they okay. don't want to surrender, just kill them. That's what we want to see you do. I'm telling you. Don't go, but that's grandstanding. Yeah, boost, uh, Ayo, that is grandstanding. You're back. Oh, I'm back. You better surrender. Oh, no, don't do that, Abdul Maliki. Go and kill them. The that job. is the job that, that you have to do. Yeah, exactly. That's the job you've been given. Mm -hmm. I think I have Kelechi on the line. <laughs> Kelechi is calling us from Imo State. Abba. Thank you for joining us, Kelechi. Yeah. Yes, go Thank ahead, Kelechi. Yes. Hello, are you with me? Yes, we are with you. Okay. Go ahead with your contribution. Uh, once again, good evening. Good evening. Please, I, I highly commend you people. I'm commending you people from the depth of my heart. I want to ask you people one question. Where is the change we voted in 2015? You all here, especially the man in the center, is a straightforward man. His, value, his moral value is very high. No matter what is happening in this country, we still know people who are men of substance. Where is the change we voted in 2015? Do you know the caliber of people that have been killed in this country? as a result of insecurity? Hmm. Where is the change promised us by ATC from what we left? Hmm. They're watching, they're watching. They are thank watching. You, the government will answer the thank, question. Thank yeah. I, I think it's we... The government will answer the question. Mm -hmm. It's not for us we, to we, answer we, the question. We, we are not politicians. Mm -hmm. We are not politicians and we are not the ones who made but, the promise. Uh, 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 you know? Tony, the, bo the bottom line the of what Kelechi is asking is that people voted because uh, in 2015, different. because they felt that the All Progressive Congress, they are going to bring something in the, the make them secure. and uh, make them secure. Yes. Yeah, that's, that, uh, that's, that's, it's, a, it's, a, it's, um, it's expected that people at this point would expect 
especially in the area of security, things done differently. I know when this government came, a lot of things changed in the, you know, we were able to tackle Boko Haram, you know, take them off Abuja and all that, because we used to know, you know, what used to happen there before. Um, they succeeded in that, but, you know, the people we are fighting changed their strategy, yes. you know, so I wanted, I would expect something like a proactive action, you know, being ahead of them. But then, um, a situation whereby um, we still have the same, for me, I, I've said it here on this platform before, or have the same people so pretending over a security network um, architecture till date, you don't expect anything to change because you, they are coming with the same, for me, they are still coming with the same ideology, the same pattern of tackling this issue. For four years, people who are due for retirement, let them go. Mm -hmm. We have, we have people who can do it. Oh. Within the military circle, you, you have them. And then just last week, a, a lieutenant general was promoted. I was expecting something different. I mean, when the president, I remember, I watched the Arise News interview they had with Mr. President, and he, he told the, the, the team that came to interview him that, okay, okay, you, you understand that they, you know, they made mistakes here and there, that's the service chiefs, but he's ready to take responsibility for, for, for the action, which means he has identified that there was a problem in that circle. So why are you keeping them? It's not about loyalty to you, it's about loyalty to the country. If they're not performing well, can they just go? Bring fresh people, this is a new regime, this is a new tenure. And people are expecting, okay, now you're there. Do something different. I don't see why we can't do that. Get people from the military, new, fresh ideas. They will come with different, something new. When you keep having security meetings every day, there's a bomb blast somewhere, there's a, there's a protest, you call them to, uh, you summon them to ask around. You, you, you will give it a, they mislead they the know, yeah, They know what you want to hear, and they give it to you. Change them. It's so big that they've done it. They've done the best. I'm not saying they, they've done it, but four years is enough. Then I'm hearing that they want to extend their term. For what? For what now? Why? Why? Why, why? why would you stop? We keep, stop? we keep talking about the same there thing. There's no Over law the by which change them. tenure can be extended that, beyond For me, that's, that's the that's problem no I have law. with Mr. President at the moment. Change these people. Let's have things happening. People have been killed every day. Hmm. For me, life is cheap here. And hmm. this is just a simple way to describe it. Julia, from the list you've seen so far, I've been trying to read about their, um, the profile, the CV, the background of these people. I'm watching out for somebody that will become the Minister of Defense, but some, somebody that has a suitable military background, that has the prerequisite knowledge and everything, that will end up being a Minister of Defense. Maybe this person can come to inject you know, fresh energy in the fight against insecurity in Nigeria. Have you come by any on this list? Oh, the Major General uh, Charlie, uh, my Magashi is a, I see Magashi being put there. He's a, a soldier, a retired soldier, former governor of Sokoto State. He's a Kano man. Beyond that, beyond a Kano man. I don't know. You see, the thing is, the other, the immediate past defense minister was was a fantastic failure. Dan Ali, yeah. Fantastic failure because Dan Ali, Dan, Monsor Dan Ali was a failure because even his own, his hometown. Brini Magaji <laughs> in Zamfara was one of the worst attacked uh, ravaged uh, by well, bandits. Yes, one of the most ravaged by bandits. And we couldn't defeat the bandits. The bandits began dictating the, the tone. Today we are making peace with them, which is an admittance of the fact that we can't defeat the bandits. I even saw a video of one of them boasting that no soldier could kill him, that he's even praying for a soldier to come and come to his base. Imagine. That he will slaughter them. That he just feels that everyone will die one day. That that is why he chose to say, okay, let's go for peace. Hmm. That you cannot use force to defeat us. Hmm. You know? In Zafara. So the bandits have now become bigger than the state. We now have to go and negotiate with them. Under Mansour Dan Ali, we couldn't defeat the bandits. Under Mansour Dan Ali, we thought Boko Haram had been defeated, but Boko Haram continued to slaughter soldiers like flies. So we, we, we now see clearly that the president has to go for someone who is good, you know, who will be very proactive, who will also be respected because clearly the current NSC, I mean, the, uh, the NSC and the uh, Mansour Dan Ali, they also had their issues with service chiefs, that the service chiefs did not respect them. Oguno? Yes, that is a complaint that sometimes you give him, Oguno complain publicly, that sometimes you give instructions to the service chiefs that they don't carry out. Yeah. So if yeah. service chiefs will not carry out the instruction of the NSC, it they, they then means that they, they, they become too big for the positions that you're given them. Because they must take instruction. Those, there's a retired general. 
If you are saying, oh, uh, Mansour Dan Ali was the uh, brigadier and we now, we are a senior. Mm -hmm. We rose mm -hmm. above the, mm -hmm. the, the exactly. position where he ended it up in the, in the, in the military. military yeah. But you have, uh, you have uh, Monguno. Monguno is a general and you're senior. So you have no reason not to take instruction. That's why we have, if, they, if we have no it all people, if we have no it all people running our security architecture, then you can understand why we are in this mess. Mm -hmm. they, must, they must listen to contrary okay. opinion. Have to go. We mm -hmm. said that some of the methods mm -hmm. are not working. If those mm -hmm. methods are not working, mm -hmm. they should seek alternative uh, uh, methods. Simple. Mm -hmm. Instead of watching our people being killed mm -hmm. like, like, like dogs. I want to thank you, Tony Owaje, for being part of this um, edition of Journalist Hangouts. And so BKO, much. thank you for your contribution, always. So, and you. that's all on Journalist Hangout. Okay, Join now, us okay. tomorrow for another episode of the program. You can also watch Journalist Hangouts on our YouTube station. That's youtube.com slash TVC News Nigeria. Our feedback channel is Journalist Hangout at tvcnews.tv. I'm Ayodili Uzubahun. Bye for now and God bless Nigeria. <laughs>